Hey everyone, welcome back for week two of making things with Daniel and Laura. We are going to do a torn paper collage today, inspired by Raina, of course. Um, so we're going to give you guys the materials. We've got this, we're going to give you some uh, lovely messed up paper, but you could also use anything that you have at home, as long as probably you would ask first. Um, you don't want to rip up any important bills. Um, but newspaper, magazines, and any maybe things that are in the recycling bin would be great too. So you just need that and some in your hands and we can go to work. So when I do this, I like to think about all the things that make me really annoyed and angry and get those all going. And then all I do, start ripping. And you can rip as big or as small or as crazy or as mad as you want. You can always go back and keep doing it. Really feel it. I think it's fun to try to make shapes and also listen to all those cool angry sounds. And just keep going until you got yourself a nice big pile. Hi everyone, it's me Daniel, so glad to be with you all again. Laura and I working together on our ripped paper collage. I like this, this piece of paper we ripped here, it had someone painted, look like stars on it or something. I'm going to use a couple of those to represent the eyes on my little pattern here. So what we're gonna do is just start gluing them down now that we have our big pile of satisfying lyric paper. And we gave you guys some of these. These are just optional. You could really do this and make a beautiful collage just on a regular piece of paper um, without any outlines to fill in. Or if you wanted to, you could make your own. You could just trace a circle and do kind of a mandala thing if you were like that last week. Um, or you could draw something and fill it in. So we're gonna start filling in our little people. Glue them. Something you can do if you want to is think about what you're doing while you're doing it and like what the different colors and the shapes, what they feel like what they represent, or you can just enjoy yourself. Mm-hmm. I think that's a good idea. Just enjoy yourself. We all deserve it, don't we? Mm-hmm. Maybe talk to someone on the phone while you're doing it. Get some mu good music going. Oh, yeah, good music. Ooh, I love music. All right, everyone, I finished um, content with uh, my progress here. I kind of try to give them a little bit of life, you know. Uh, it looks like he's looking to the side a little bit. I use the star eyes, you know, the paper that had little tiny stars on it for eyes. I like the nose. This was a better mouth when I started, but I kind of covered it up, the green part. And I like the way the hair turned out. 
It almost looks stylized a little bit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I guess that's me. Um, I hope you guys have fun with yours. I'd be so excited to see some of them. You know, you can always send us pictures through text. We would definitely love to see those and share them with you when we do our next video. Mm -hmm. Maybe if you guys share, uh, shared a picture with us, we could post it uh, in our next YouTube video. Anyway, thanks. All right, I've got mine done too. Um, I was just thinking about being in the ocean or in some sort of water and how wonderful that feels to just like float especially during this really crazy time so I kind of put like all of the like energy and electricity the bright color of my body amidst this like nice cool peaceful blue so I had a lot of fun doing it I feel pretty content with it <clears throat> and yeah, I'm glad to do it and I hope you guys have a ton of fun and enjoy the feeling of ripping up a ton of paper. Um, I hope it's calming and maybe even healing. And we will see you next week. We'll be popping back in with the video next week. This time Daniel's choosing activity again. <laughs> Bye!